It is Monday, July 6th, and we are still stuck down in our old facility. The last video we did was on May 27th, where I was saying this should be our last day down here, our new freezer should be up and running in our new facility, and we should be good to go to move over. Unfortunately, uh, there's been quite a few mishaps and issues with the contractor that we hired uh, to get everything set up in the new facility. You know, it was back and forth for two or three weeks. Oh, we need uh, to change the electric. We need to get different compressors. Uh, we ran out of money, this, that. We ended up having to fire one of the mechanics that were building the freezer and we're getting a new one. And hopefully this week we get it up and running. You know, working out of this facility is a nightmare and we ordered so much meat to fill up our new freezers in the new facility that we really need to just get out of here and move as soon as possible. But we've been making it work. Our order volume is a little lower than normal. So hopefully, you know, three, four, five weeks from now, you guys see the full inventory, the new inventory of everything we're carrying. So we're actually in the front kitchen today and the space is a little tighter, but uh, we do have the AC up here. So it is actually nice and cool here and everything stays colder, the ice stays colder, uh, meat stays colder when we're getting the packages out. Uh, it's about 12.15 and Adam and our new guy have, have completed most of the orders already. We have all of the UPS and FedEx orders ready to be picked up. And uh, now what do you, we have to go down to the other space to pick up some styrofoam. Yeah, I gotta go get coolers. Um, I gotta make sure this guy's doing his job. Yeah. We are at our new facility that we have a lease for. New mechanic. Better refrigeration. Well, hopefully they're better than the last person, although I'm not too optimistic. Uh, we actually leased the left side of this building. So it's a, it's a mirror building. The right side's a little bigger. And, and right now we have the left side. Uh, so let me just go in and show you guys around. So we do have a loading dock, which is uh, the main thing we needed compared to our last facility because you know we do bring in a lot of animals, a lot of products. So now the truck just backs up to the loading dock. We unload the truck, super duper easy. Just the inside of the loading area here. We got our pallet jack, aluminum loading ramp. Yeah. Give you guys a quick look around. It's it's a big space, but we're not really utilizing all of it. So we're gonna have a sink set up. We got a hand wash sink as well. We're gonna have some steel tables, some racks around. This is the main freezer we're gonna have. So it's a really big sliding door. Nice floor in here. We got the two compressors on the left side. Bunch of packing materials we brought over already. This freezer was uh, purchased at an auction in Ohio, I believe. And they put that in. And then we have this hunk of crap refrigerator, but we don't even have the, we don't even have a floor installed in this refrigerator because it's just out of budget right now. But it, this is gonna keep stuff cold and we're not gonna be using this to really store any, any meat. This is gonna be if we're making cod liver oil and stuff. Uh, we have some more packing materials back here. Really open space. And the main reason we got this facility is because the basement square footage was not counted in the lease for some reason. And the square footage in the basement is a lot of storage. Uh, this used to be a gym, uh, from my recollection, and there's a lot of space down here just for, for storage and everything. So there's one bathroom over here. This is men's restroom. I think there's even a shower back there. Another restroom over here, woman's restroom. Pretty big open space down here. We can use this for storage. We can use this for whatever we want, uh, but it is a little difficult to get stuff down here. 
other side over here. Have a room, more storage. I don't know what they used to use this for. If this was a gym, this could have been like sectioned off to various parts. And then over here we have some electrical stuff. It's the main electrical box where we have to run everything from. And this is a an elevator thing. I haven't used this yet. I don't know how this works. Well, this is supposed to work. This is a uh, something you can load up and bring stuff up and down the stairs here. It's working right now, though. It's working when we tried it last time. Maybe just this side works. So I'll turn this switch on. All right, I'll ask Adam how that works, but that's basically the facility. Not open space right now. We gotta clean this up, get some stuff in here. We'll see how it looks by next week. I'm gonna help Adam load up his truck with the styrofoam and then we'll get out of here. So that's the update for today for Frankie's free range meat. As I've mentioned, we're really looking to get our full inventory in, a lot more products this week. Wagyu's coming in, some more organs are coming in. So many of you guys have been asking for brains. Those are coming in next week. So we're going to have most of our inventory replenished and then hopefully in the next two months or so, we'll have more products available. The website will be revamped a bit and the selection for beef especially will be fully available to you guys. So if there are products you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. I know what you guys have already been asking for us to get back in stock, the organ grind, and a couple of things that we've been unable to. But hopefully as we get into this facility, as we settle in, we're saving more money, we're making more money, our order volume's a bit higher. Uh, we can also do some other business ideas I've had uh, from making the supplements here ourselves uh, for organ supplements. Uh, I got a couple food product ideas. We're gonna expand the Warrior Bar flavors and probably rename the Warrior Bar because apparently there, there was a Warrior Bar that went out of business already. So, so we're gonna have to figure out a new name for the bar. But stay posted guys, check out Frankie's Range Meat right now to see what we have available. Check out the website in the next two, three, four weeks. A lot of our inventory is going to update and change and we're going to add a bunch of new products. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you'd like to chat later, we're gonna do a live stream on the channel Frank Tufano that I will link in the description down below. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.